Welcome to Datadog. In this video, you will learn how to stay compliant with your telemetry data, such as logs and traces, audit access and changes to critical Datadog configurations, and leverage role-based access control. Sensitive Data Scanner helps GRC and DevOps teams discover, classify, and redact sensitive information while scaling with the volume of their data and complexity of their architecture. Let's see what Sensitive Data Scanner looks like when it's all set up. This page provides a bird's eye view of all the sensitive data issues in your organization at a given time, giving you high level insights such as the type of sensitive data found, the timeline of the leak, the number of matching events, and the blast radius of the issue. Sensitive Data Scanner has an integration with Datadog Case Management, which allows you to create cases and associate them with sensitive data issues so that remediation efforts can be managed from a central place. You can also assign team members to investigate certain cases and keep an audit of all remediation actions. Let's take a look at how we would use this. You can see all sensitive data issues under the issues overview, sorted by priority, but you can filter the list based on priority level and case status accordingly. You can easily drill down on an issue by clicking it to open up a more detailed view. And from there, you can easily create a case, declare an incident, modify the offending sensitive data scanning role, or view configuration changes that may be related to this issue in Datadog Audit Trail. View a list of the events containing the flagged sensitive data and download them as a CSV if necessary for further analysis. Here in the Service tab, this integrates with the Service Catalog to show a top list of all of the affected services that contain the sensitive data, as well as key team ownership information so you know who to follow up with for remediation. You can also group by host or environment to get a quick view of the affected hosts and environments. Finally, easily view an audit of any users within your organization who explicitly searched for the sensitive data in your logs with an integration with Audit Trail. And here you can see the Dive Deeper section, which allows you to explore our blogs and other resources or reach out to support. Now that we've understood how you can keep track of and investigate your top sensitive data issues, how do we go about drilling down into the specific sensitive events? Let's take a look at an example of a sensitive data issue. This is the Log Explorer, and we're looking at all of the logs from the critical sensitive data issue where Visa credit card numbers are leaking specifically in error logs from the Web Store service. These logs capture information about customer checkouts and are used to monitor a major e-commerce website. Here we can see that Sensitive Data Scanner has found matches in this log, which are highlighted here in red. This looks like it was a social security number. But how did we get here? How does Sensitive Data Scanner work exactly? Datadog's Sensitive Data Scanner is a stream-based pattern matching service that you can use to identify, tag, and optionally redact or hash sensitive data. It can help you stay compliant with GDPR, HIPAA, CCPA, and other frameworks and standards. Logs are scrubbed of sensitive data on the log stream itself before they are stored in Datadog or shipped to your cloud archive. Although Sensitive Data Scanner works for your logs, it also works to scrub sensitive data from other observability telemetry as well, including APM spans, RUM events, and events. Now that we've seen what Sensitive Data Scanner looks like in action, let's take a look at how you can easily set it up yourself. This is the Sensitive Data Scanner configuration page where you can define scanning groups and rules for sensitive data management. First, we need a scanning group. A scanning group allows customers to tell Datadog which logs, traces, RUM events, and events they want to scan. Here, I'm a member of the compliance team, and I know that the ads team handles sensitive data like email addresses. So I'm narrowing down our scanning group to our ads team only. Below, we can also see that we can use Sensitive Data Scanner to scan and redact sensitive information, not just in logs, but also other observability telemetry like traces and real user monitoring or ROM events. Now let's look at what creating a scanning role looks like. Here we can choose from over 70 out-of-the-box scanning rules ranging from credit card numbers to API keys to IP addresses, or creating our own custom rule to scan for more business-specific sensitive data. It's very easy and only takes a few steps. To create a custom scanning rule, first pick a scanning group for this rule to apply to, then we need to define a regex pattern to match the sensitive data that we care about. You can input sample data here to make sure your rule is working as expected. You can then choose to scan all the attributes, select certain attributes, and choose to redact, partially redact, or hash the sensitive data. We also recommend using tags added by Sensitive Data Scanner to events containing sensitive data to set up monitors, build dashboards, search for specific events, 
and define role-based access control policies to restrict access to specific individuals or teams, but we'll go over this as well later. Now that we have these scanning rules in place, how can we monitor them? You can save time by scanning and tagging events emitted by new hosts, containers, and applications as soon as they are spun up, which lets your teams create real-time alerts and build dashboards for sensitive data. Teams can then visualize flagged logs in the sensitive data scanner out of the box dashboard to track the status of all of an organization's application services, devices, and infrastructure, and see where they might be violating compliance standards at a high level. So let's take a look at how you can get alerted quickly, even if you're not looking at a dashboard at all times. I have a pre-existing one that I just created earlier. Using the tags configured in data scanners, governance, risk, and compliance teams, or GRC teams, can create alerts to notify them as soon as a service begins logging sensitive data, or set a threshold above which they can be alerted by sensitive data spikes. This enables them to respond to sensitive data issues faster. As seen in this example, teams can create an alert that uses a sensitive data category email tag to notify them when email addresses are logged. Now that we have these scanning rules and monitors in place, how can we make sure that they aren't modified by somebody else accidentally or otherwise? So how would we know that other people in different teams aren't changing the policies that we just set up? This would be terrible for security or compliance. So for that, we have Audit Trail, which gives you full visibility into users, their actions, and API calls across the Datadog platform. Here, we have very granular data by product, user, and API requests. As you can see, Audit Trail works with the entire Datadog platform. Here, we can drill down into specific events. In each event, you can see who did it, what they did, and what the change was if they were successful. For example, in this audit trail event, you can see that a user modified the sensitive data scanner scanning rule for Visa credit card numbers. During a spike in this type of sensitive data in my events, it is useful information to know that the rule was recently changed, meaning that the spike might have more to do with the rule modification than an actual spike. So even after all of this, it's still possible that you may still have PII that slips through and you want to limit who can see the sensitive data. For that, we have role-based access control and restriction queries that can be applied to the user's defined roles. Datadog role-based access control gives you better data governance by creating custom roles, defining what account permissions these roles should have, and assigning roles to users appropriate to their job scope. As we can see on this page, you can choose to restrict the access a role has to see restricted logs by defining a restriction query. Users with only that role will only be able to see logs that match the restriction query. Those without permission will not see those logs. You can also make logs with sensitive data unsearchable by defining a restriction query with the tags added by the scanner to matching entries. This is useful for gating access until you're able to create those scanners we saw earlier or fix the sensitive data leak upstream. Restriction queries apply no matter where you're querying for logs in both the Log Explorer and Live Search. You could also temporarily stop indexing sensitive logs with an exclusion filter as an alternative. When used together, role-based access control and audit trail can help you make sure that your users are compliant with your frameworks. We've covered a lot of material ranging from sensitive data scanner, audit trail, and role-based access control. I hope you have a better understanding of how our tools for sensitive data management and auditing can help you build a stronger, modern compliance strategy.